Mimi, Dee Dee, and Theo are having a busy morning at kindergarten. Good morning, kids. Good, Good morning, morning, Nanny. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> kids, I'm so excited for what we're going to do today. What? Try to guess. Maybe sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nope. Aww. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do today. We're going to blow soap bubbles. <gasps> Yay! All kids love bubbles, especially these three. Huh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mimi, now you try. Thanks. <laughs> mm. Watch. You have to shake it first. Then remove the cap. Oh. And blow. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's even more fun if you run with them. Ah. <laughs> oh no! No, we can't have any more bubbles. Uh. Don't be upset. <gasps> Want to make your own bubbles? Yeah! yeah. Let's see what we need. First, get a little water. Then add a little soap. Take a tennis racket, dip it in the liquid, and try to blow a bubble. Awesome! <laughs> Wanna fly to space in a bubble rocket? Yeah! yeah. Then we're gonna need a bigger racket. Whoa! You have to stand still. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is so cool. Uh -huh. ah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go to outer space? Yeah. Yes. Of course. Great. You'll need space suits. Ooh. Now, let's try to make as many bubbles as we possibly can. Yeah! yeah. The kids were so busy playing that time flew by. Oh, the day's already over. I didn't notice. Neither did we. But don't be sad. I have another surprise for you. Come here. I'll tell you what it is. They're taking so long. Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> we played with bubbles today. Wow. Will you tell me all about it? Thank you so much. My pleasure. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. The kids had an amazing day, just like they always do when they use their imaginations. The kids were playing tic-tac-toe. Huh? Theo's waiting for his turn. I'm tired of waiting. Can we play a game that all three of us can play together? Totally. We can play tic-tac-toe tea. Great idea. Let's try it. The kids started playing their name game when they saw something bright in the sky. Guys, did 
you see that? What? There was something shiny in the sky. Wow. It happened again. What was it? Let me think. Maybe it's a party on a cloud. And we just didn't get invited. Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah! What was it? Maybe someone fell off a cloud and landed in a pool full of balloons. That's why it was such a loud noise. <laughs> the kids would have kept laughing for a while. But then, Mrs. Unicorn called them in. Mimi, Theo, Didi, come in here. It's about to rain. Let's run! I wonder how she knows it's about to rain. Hurry up! There we go. Theo, Didi, look! It's really raining! Wow! Mrs. Unicorn, how did you know it was about to rain? Good question. Want me to tell you? Yeah! yeah. Then settle down. Did you see the lights in the sky? Yeah. And did you hear the rumbling? Yeah. So, all of that means a thunderstorm is about to start. Ooh. Every second, thunderstorms are starting all over the planet. When water evaporates and goes up into the sky, it forms clouds. Particles start forming inside the clouds and running around. That makes the cloud start electrifying. That's also what happens when you rub a balloon on your hair. You see? <laughs> anyway, when the cloud is electrified, lightning bolts begin to form. Then we hear the sound of lightning. That's because light is faster than sound. Unfortunately, we still can't predict where lightning will strike. And if you see lightning and hear thunder, that means it's about to start raining. Wow! Thanks, Mom! You're welcome, sweetie. You're so smart, Mrs. Unicorn. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. And look, it's not raining anymore. Now you can go play in the puddles. Yay! Yay! But put your rain boots on. Okay! Today, the kids learned what a thunderstorm is. And now they know if they can expect rain. Now they can splash through puddles to their heart's content. <laughs> Today, Mimi, Theo, and Dee Dee are enjoying some yummy donuts yeah. that Dee Dee's grandma made. Oh. Yep. Dee Dee, your grandma is amazing! These donuts are so yummy! Mm. They are really good, but I have a question. Why do donuts have holes in them? Mm. Probably to save dough. No. It's to make them easier to hold. See? Ah, no, Dee Dee. I could bite my finger off. Wow! Look, Mimi has an amazing idea. Dee Dee! Theo! Donuts have holes so that... Huh? We can see what a yummy place the world is. Look, donut glasses. Cool. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> wow, it's all so yummy. 
Ham, ham, tap, ham, ham, tap, tap, tap. Hey, Theo, don't eat the whole thing. Ham, ham, tap, ham, tap. Don't worry, Mimi. I can swim. Hmm, <laughs> cherry ice cream. I have pistachio. Mmm, orange. My favorite. Oh, I hope my mom and dad didn't turn into cookies. <laughs> Phew. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi dad. Hi, kids. What are you kids up to? The donuts are all over the place. Oh, we'll clean it up. Grandma, why do you put holes in donuts? So you use less dough, right? <laughs> of course not, sweetie. It's pretty simple, kids. The donuts just cook faster if they have a hole in them. Plus, it helps them keep their shape. Now, can you help me decorate the donuts with glaze? What color do you want? I want green. Orange. I'll go for pink. Wow. Mm. Yeah. This is still the best way to eat them. Hum dum dum hum dum dum. <laughs> what a sweet trip into the world of donuts. Now, the kids know exactly why donuts have holes. And they even helped Dee Dee's grandma. Great job, kids. Mimi was having a normal, sleepy morning. Mimi, no sleeping at the table. Five more minutes? Mimi. Um, okay, okay, I'm not sleeping. Um, that's good. It seems like nothing at all can make Mimi wake up. Until the radio says something very interesting. <gasps> and tonight, don't forget to look at the sky. You might just see some shooting stars falling down. Shooting stars? Mom, why do stars fall? I'll tell you when you finish your breakfast. But, Mom... Breakfast first. Fine. Um, all done! Good girl. Now will you tell me about shooting stars? Of course. I promised, right? So, shooting stars are actually... Hello? Um... Mimi, hold on a second. This is for work. Mimi, we're here. Come what? play with us. <laughs> Mom, will you tell me later? Yes, of course. You can go play with your friends. I'll be done soon. Thanks. Of course. Love you, Mom. Love you too, Mimi. Hi, Hi Mimi. Hi. Guys, do you know what shooting stars are? Of course. It's when stars fall out of the sky. Do you know why they fall? No. Neither do I. <sighs> why do they fall? Oh, my grandma told me that if you see a shooting star, you have to make a wish. 
Yeah, if a star sees that you have a wish, it starts to fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Oh. What if a star falls because it trips? Ah, uh. oh, poor star. Yeah. We'll never figure it out ourselves. Let's go and see if my mom can explain it to us. Great idea, Mimi. Let's go. Whoa. Mom! Hello? Hi, boys. Mom, can you tell us why stars fall? We really want to know. Of course I can. But I have an even better idea. How about we wait for it to get dark? Then we can watch the shooting stars through a telescope. And I'll tell what? you all about it. Yay! Hi, honey. Can you bring a telescope home? Yeah. Great. Thank you. While the kids are waiting for the sun to set, they play outside, eat, nap, eat some more, and watch cartoons. And now, it's the evening. Hi, kids. Look what I brought you. Ooh. This is a telescope. It'll help you see the shooting stars. Thank you, Dad. Isn't it beautiful? Uh -huh. But actually, those aren't stars. What? Yep. They start out as space rocks called meteoroids. They fly through space until they start to fall onto the surface of the Earth. Oh, oh no. no! But don't be scared. You know, our planet has an atmosphere around it. I knew that! So when the meteoroids reach our atmosphere, they get so hot that they start to burn up. That's why it looks like a falling star. Wow. Most meteoroids burn up in space before they even reach us. Huh. Phew, that's a relief. Look through the telescope and watch it happen. Aw, you got a little tired today, huh? Yeah. yeah. Then let's go. Mr. Unicorn will drive you home. And Mimi has to go to bed, too. Yeah, I had a long day. Whoa. The kids had a busy day and ended up getting really tired. But they learned a lot of really cool stuff. I hope you learned something cool, too. Time for bed. No. Sorry, but you still have to go. But why? Kids can't go to bed too late. Hmm, but why? I wish I could be a grown up already. You think being a grown up is better than being a kid? You really think so? Of course! If you're sure, then how about spending the whole day tomorrow as a grown-up? You can even watch TV as late as you want in the evening. I'm in! Mom, is that okay? Well, sure. Great! Deal. Okay, go to bed. You have to be up early for work tomorrow. Woohoo! Mimi was so happy to accept this exciting deal. But she couldn't even imagine what would happen in the morning. Oh, I'm so 
sleepy. Mimi, get up, sweetie. Um, I don't wanna. I wanna sleep. But you promised Dad. I know. I have to be a grown-up today. Ah! Oh! <sighs> What's for breakfast? Whatever you cook. You're the grown-up today. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Mimi was having a hard time in the morning, but she was still doing her best. She would have enjoyed the breakfast she cooked, but she was too sleepy to enjoy anything. The day just started, which means Mimi has a lot to do. She's going to work with her dad. To make sure Mimi was comfortable, Mr. Unicorn put a tiny desk next to his own for her. Yes! Mimi worked hard all day long, trying to do everything her dad did. <coughs> so, Mr. Unicorn paid Mimi for all her hard work. Phew! We're finally going home! Not quite. First, we need to go to the grocery store. Oh, no! When they get to the store, Mr. Unicorn says, since you're the grown-up, pick the groceries yourself. Cool! Mimi picked out everything she wanted. Oh, but no. that's not what grown-ups do. So, Mr. Unicorn went with her to pick out new things. <gasps> That'll be $40. <clears throat> you did a great job today, Mimi. Watch as much TV as you want. Thanks, Dad. Uh, oh, and also... I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, for what? Sorry, I don't want to be a grown-up anymore. It's too hard. I told you, sweetie. Just enjoy being a kid. You can be a grown-up later. Thanks. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Mimi. Good night. Mimi had a very long day, and she's very tired. But now she knows how great it is to be a kid. She can just listen to her parents, and everything will be okay. The kids are having fun running around and playing today. They're all well-rested and energized. <laughs> <laughs> ah! An alien is chasing us! You can't catch us! <laughs> no, no, not me! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <gasps> no! Cooper! That's it! You're the alien now! <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> but it's almost sunset. Which means it's time for the kids to all go home. <gasps> Mimi! <gasps> Mimi, it's time to come home. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can I play a little more? No, sorry, sweetie. It's getting late. But, Mom! Theo, come home. Dee Dee, come home already. Okay. Mimi, we have to go. Bye, Mimi. Bye, guys. Mimi is very upset, even though she sees that it's late and time to go home. While Mimi was walking, she thought of a question. <sighs> Mom? Yes? Why does the sun hide every night? Why does that mean we have less time to play? 
Let's sit down and I'll explain it to you. It's all because the sun is a star. Our planet revolves around it. Then there's the moon, which revolves around the Earth. Wow! The Earth spins around the sun over the course of 365 days, or one year. And the moon spins around the Earth, which takes 27 days. Cool! But why does the sun disappear at night? I'm not done with my story. Along with the Earth revolving around the sun, it also spins on its own axis. It takes 24 hours to complete a turn. So when it's night for us, it's day on the other side of the planet. Wow, that's interesting. Thanks, Mom. Now I get it. When the sun sets, I'll go straight home so that the kids on the other side of the planet can play too. That's wonderful, Mimi. For now, let's have dinner. Then you can go to sleep. Okay. Mimi had another big day of learning new things. And she's going to bed early so she can be strong and refreshed to play all day long tomorrow. Mrs. Unicorn came to pick the kids up from daycare. <laughs> Hi, Miss Moo. Hi, Mrs. Unicorn. How are the kids today? Amazing as always. <laughs> That's great. You kids ready to go? Yes! We're going on an amazing journey home. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Moo. See you tomorrow, kids. And they're all going to walk back together. It was hot outside, so the kids got some ice cream before continuing on their journey. Whoa! Let's go check it out. Come, let's go. Let's find out what it is first, then go check. What do you think it could be? A huge lollipop! <gasps> huh? What? I think it's an alien that fell out of his UFO, and we have to help him. Yay! I think it's a huge sword. Only a worthy warrior would be able to pull it out. Oh. Yeah! Want me to tell you what it really is? Of course! Let's get closer. Uh, See? It's just a scarecrow. Ooh. A scarecrow? Yes. Farmers use them to scare birds away from eating their crops. The birds think there's a person in the field, so they don't come close. Oh, oh that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Want to make one at home? Totally. totally! Then let's go. Ready to make a scarecrow? Yeah! We'll need two branches. Yay! <laughs> Make a body out of hay. Should we put clothes on him? Yeah. Let's use one of Mr. Unicorn's old blazers. You don't mind, right? <laughs> of course not. Uh -huh. We'll use a ball to make the head. And we'll give him a nice hat. Yay! What do you think? I love it! Me too. See, he's not scary at all. No, he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now it's lunchtime. Yeah! The kids and Mimi's parents made their very own scarecrow. It won't scare birds away. It's just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> 